Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I uh, hope you're having a fantastic afternoon. I've been so looking forward to bringing this Facebook Live to you. This is something I'm really, really passionate about. Uh, all about how do you set goals or more, I don't really like the word goals. It's more about um, being able to achieve those dreams. It's being able to really connect inwardly with what you are passionate about, what motivates you, what gets you up in the morning. And I heard this saying recently, you know, your life is not a dress rehearsal and it's you only get one chance at this life. And so what is that dream that is sitting inside of you? So from this Facebook Live, I want you to really connect inwardly as to what is that dream that's sitting inside of you that's just there. I'll get to it. I'll get to it one day. Uh, you know what? That one day may never, ever come because it's we, we don't know how long we're on this planet for. And I know this seems really, really extreme. However, I, I just, I suppose after 15 years of working in the marriage therapy, um, we'll call it institute, um, I have watched many people particularly walk into my room and they are dead from the neck down. And I know that seems really extreme, but they are. They say, oh, I've got this book I want to write, Helen. Or actually, I want to go and I want to travel. Or I want to start up this or I want to do this. And I say, well, what's stopping you? And they tell me every reason that is stopping them. So what I want to talk about today is how do you connect with what is stopping you? How do you begin to actually make it happen? So whether it is you you want to write a book, you want to do a podcast, you want to travel the world, you actually want to exit your relationship or you want to start dating again after having been in a 25-year marriage and you've been single for a few years. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is, but if you're actually really, really tired of dreaming or thinking that it will happen one day, then this Facebook Live is for you. Um, it's all about being able to unlock that power source that is inside of you. And every single one of us have that power source inside of us. But what happens is we get bogged down in life. What happens is that we might use vices like drinking or eating or social media, whatever it is that numbs you so that you actually don't have to feel it. And then what happens is we just get caught up. Everything else is more important. And before we know it, five years has gone by, a decade has gone by, and still that dream, it's inside of you. So I'm going to share with you something very, very close to my heart. And I know tomorrow is Are You OK Day. So I think it really is quite relevant. So 18 months ago, I uh, lost my sister to suicide. Um, and I'm not going to go into the details of it. It is the second sibling that I've lost to suicide. And as I'm working through my grief, um, last year, I thought, I've got to fucking do something. I, I have to do something. If you have ever experienced this, there is a feeling of such powerlessness. And last year, I was sort of trying to think, well, well what can I do? You know, and I started to um, get different ideas. And it was, I started to get this bit of a vision. I need to do like some sort of annual event. I don't know what it is. But there is something there that I, I have to do. And as I started to sort of sort of drop into what I was feeling and sort of reach out to people, I connected with a beautiful woman called Louise, who's got Redlands property um, properties here where I live locally. And she does an annual fundraiser dinner for the homeless. And I said, Louise, how did you go about it? What what did, what did you do? And she she was so helpful. But she said, Helen, you need to have support. It isn't something you can do on your own. There is a lot in it. And um, hello, Cheryl, writing a book. 
brilliant i'll talk into that um so anyway louise was fantastic she said you need to get support now something so deep to my heart to to actually reach out and ask support ask for support was a little bit of a foreign concept because i haven't been one to ask for support but i did and i connected with a local woman who has got her own organization i said linda i have to do a fundraising event because the dinner thing started to plant so from that i i connected with her at the beginning of this year I've got to have a coffee with you, Linda. So are you noticing the energy that I'm coming in with? When you have a goal, like a big goal, Cheryl, like writing a book, that's a freaking big goal. And you actually cannot do it on your own. I thought that you could. I've written a book, but you can't. So it's connecting in with that inward energy. It's like this energy life force. I've got to write that book. And the same with me. I had to do this dinner so I connected with linda and then i thought i'm going to get friends on board um and we created a committee and from there throughout this year the committee and linda and i have been um connecting and meeting and we created the most incredible awesomest event on saturday night and i've just gone goosebumpy um this event um sp dinner and dance so sp stands for suicide prevention uh but it's an annual event. So this was the inaugural, I find that word hard to say, um, on Saturday night. And it just blasted away any expectation. Like, it was just incredible. The support, the money, the raffles, the connection, the love um, was absolutely profound. But where I want to go with this is I got very, very clear on what my vision was. So if you can visualize your vision, if you can see it, if you can feel it, if you can embody it, that is your first thing. If you if you want to achieve a goal, you have to feel it. You are not going to achieve it if you do not have a clear vision. So I had a very, very, very clear vision. And it was, you know, it was a dinner. We were going to have raffles. People were going to come in. They're going to be dressed up. We're going to have a band. Off night, got this brilliant band who came in and really created a lot of energy for the night. For so my vision was not to bring the energy down because anything to do with um, suicide and suicide prevention is horrific. I get it. However, my intention for the night, and I put my intention out when I actually spoke on the night. I said my intention is that you party and you party hard, and then you have the best night. And you come back next year with your friends and family because you remember the energy. So any big goals, whether it be a podcast, whether it be writing a book, whether it be traveling, you actually have to feel it in your body. You have to energetically feel it. And so this, it was like an energy life force coming into um, the actual event. And I, I will share two and a half weeks out. Before the actual event, we had only sold just under 30 tickets. So at this stage, we had already got all the sponsors, we got all the raffles, and we're on quite low tickets. However, I had an intention and I had a vision. I was like a dog with a friggin' bone. And so were my incredible committee and the and the, the woman who helped me plan it. So your first thing is is get clear on the vision embody it feel it see it touch it you know you can call it manifestation call it whatever you want your first thing is your vision your second thing that you got to get clear on is actually um the whole purpose around it why are you doing this look for me um the purpose of course was the funds and i got very clear on my purpose it was to give support um, for anybody at risk, youth at risk, one day a week. So I, with it, with goals, you've got to make them really tangible, bite size. So it was very clear. I didn't know that if we were going to be able to raise the funds for this, but I put the intention out um, that it was going to um, provide funding, and it's it's going to an organisation called the Cage, and Linda behind the Cage said. If we can get this certain amount of money, we will have one day a week. 
where we will have a counsellor come in and work with youth, youth at risk. So again, that's an example of the, the purpose. It, it was to supply absolute support. So 48 days a week um, for one day a week. That was So the mission is all of the doing. It's everything behind it. Um, the mission, it's, it's actually really, really important to be able to break that down. It's, it's a, a crucial ingredient into it. Cheryl, I'm loving your comments. Thank you so much. I've done an orphan fundraiser. It was amazing. So Cheryl, you'll be able to relate to what I'm saying. Um, I'd never done anything like it before. And it really did show me um, how important when when you have a very very clear plan and yeah 100 percent so when when you have um yeah thank you so much for your comments it's lovely to see you um on this live when you have a very clear vision and you've got a purpose and an, a mission you then you you cannot fail um, you, of course, also need the other moving parts. We got over 500 to come to our event. Oh, my goodness, Cheryl, that's absolutely incredible. Well, uh, next year, that will be my intention to absolutely increase um, who came to ours. But, yeah, coming back to this, um, what is the dream that sits inside of you? It's, it's, and I think a really big driver is that, Having worked in the trauma field, and particularly in couples um, and in marriage therapy, you know, I, I hear about people's dreams, but people get bogged down in the, the everydayness of life. They get bogged down in, um, you know, the nitpicking or the expectation of, they have the, of their partner, and it actually... That actually de-energizes you. You know, you only have a certain amount of energy inside your body. And so it's recognizing how you um, do life. What are your sabotages? What are your successes? And so when you know how you sabotage yourself, like what are the belief systems that you have that stop you from achieving your goals? You know, often I see um, in the coaching that I do is the goals, got big goals, but they're not put down into bite-sized pieces. And if they're not put down into bite-sized pieces, so, you know, monthly, weekly, daily goals that are going to help you achieve that, then you are going to get into, oh, I'm not doing enough, I'm not good enough, this doesn't work. So energetically, that is going to not make you feel good. There's a, there's a um, You'd have to be under a rock if you haven't heard of uh, Atomic Habits. And you can get it, you know, either listen to it or get the actual book. But he talks about habit stacking. So I think if you want to achieve goals, you have to, number one, be on top of your health. Because particularly if you've got big goals, uh, you need to, um, you know, what's your morning routine when you get up in the morning? Um, you So do you get up? Do you meditate? Do you exercise? Do you stretch? Do you journal? Um, how do you connect inwardly to resource you so that you can start achieving some of these goals? And then in the evening, what is your wind down? What are your habits uh, at night time? So sure, I'm seeing you here. I wrote my bucket list at 16. I'm doing it. Absolutely brilliant. And sure, I'm going to talk into that a little bit. For a lot of people, um, they don't have a bucket list because they're just in survival. And so a lot of the work that I do is actually to support people to come out of the survival way of living. And I'll put my hand up. I have spent decades in survival. I have spent decades in fear and not going for what I really wanted. But when you are affected by suicide, like I have been, having lost two siblings to this, 
I um, know that there is no dress rehearsal, that there is, I don't know how long I'm going to be here, and I will no longer sit in someday. It's, I will no longer think, oh, I will get there. Um, no, it's actually daily action steps. And what that does, it's like a snowball. It's, it activates. You've got to, the confidence builds on confidence, which builds on confidence, which actually I'm talking about in my uh, Inner Circle coaching group tonight, is that confidence builds. And yes, you may be head off, but you have to be able to know how to bring yourself back in. Um, how to get back into that confidence um, because it is nobody else's job to be able to fill you up or make you feel good or make you feel happy. It is actually being able to do that. And look, I actually, just while I remember, I've got a masterclass coming up. The name is From Dreams to Reality. It's your empowerment blueprint. And it's going to be a brilliant masterclass. I've brought it down to just one hour. It's in your lunch break on a Tuesday, 26th of September. So in this masterclass, this is a game changer. It's a, I've got a brilliant formula that I will take you through to help you get aligned with your values. Because when you know what your values are, are particularly your top three values, then whenever you make decisions, your decisions are going to come from your values, your yeses and noes. You won't need to look outside of yourself to ask anybody else. You will drop in and come inside and ask yourself. Um, overriding all of the values, of course, is health, because health is wealth. And if you don't have health, as you would know, um, it's very, very hard to kick any type of goal. So this masterclass is really going to help you if you're not sure what your top values are and perhaps you flip-flop or you get a bit sidetracked or other things are more important or you're trying to please other people and but you know you've got this dream inside of you. You've got this thing. It's, it's like a festering sword. It actually doesn't go away. It, it doesn't. You've got to do it. It could be gonna, gonna, gonna. I'm gonna do it one day. Well, one day may never actually happen. And so jump on um, the masterclass. Just direct message me and I'll send you the details. But coming back to your life isn't a dress rehearsal. And just, I suppose we're just about running out of time. I'm just, to, and if you're on, on live or on replay, so sure, I'm just hearing wealth to me has nothing to do with money. Oh my God, aren't you right? Wealth is what I experienced on Saturday night. Wealth is community. Wealth is connection. Wealth is love. Wealth is, um, and I love that you bring that up, Cheryl. Wealth is that inner coming home. It's that landing inside. You got your back. You're there for you because you know what makes your heart sing. And you actually honor yourself by achieving your goals. By if one of your goals is losing weight, you will do it. You won't walk out on yourself. You will, you won't reject yourself, but you've got to have steps. You've got to have certain um, strategies and ways that you do this. Um, and I'll give you an example. I'm really um, running out of time, but I'm going to give you an example. I had this dress I wanted to wear on Saturday night, right? And it was just a little bit tight. So two weeks out, I did a little bit of my goal setting. I got clear on my vision, my purpose, my mission. I know what my um, sabotages are. I know my sabotages being, I like a few bickies at night um, with a cup of tea, uh, mid-afternoon, I like a little bit of sugar. I know what my sabotages are and I know what my successes are and I also know what my values are. So I knew the exact weight that I would be on Saturday night because I know how many grams I'm going to lose because when I go back to my correct eating plan, which is breakfast, lunch and dinner, it's a protein, it's vegetables, it's a bit of salad, morning, lunchtime and dinner, it's, it's not rocket science and I know how my metabolism works so um, and I did it and the exact date that I thought I would be I was on that date so 
That is an example when you have a formula, when you know what the vision is, you know what the purpose is, you know the mission, you know your successes, you know your sabotages, you know your driving question, you know your values, uh, you will achieve your goal. So what is really supportive is to start off with little things first and then it's like, oh wow, yeah, that actually feels really good. And it, it, it builds an energy inside you. And then you can go for the bigger goals. But we start off really, really little. Because once you kick some of those goals, it, it, it becomes a bit of a, oh, wow. And it's half glass full. And you just keep filling. And it's, it's, it just builds. It's like, you know, those, um, uh, what is it? A snowball that's going right down the mountain. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. This is exactly the same with being able to achieve goals. Positive thinking is powerful. Cheryl, thank you so much. It's been so lovely having you um, on this Facebook Live with me. And I love your comments and uh, really appreciate you being here. I know I've run out of time. So just if we, you know, coming back to fear is what stops us. And so being able to um, break the walls of fear down and when you've got a step-by-step -step roadmap um, then you will achieve little and it gets bigger and bigger you don't just go from this to this we start off little and we build and build and it's an exciting journey but anyway on that note I'm going to love you and leave you and you know I suppose I would end this um, live with you know the power of change is within you. See ya.